Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to show you guys how to make some good uh, thumbnails with 3D text. Uh, if you want to buy some from me, uh, my shop is in the description. You can go and check it out. Uh, here's some of my works that um, you might be making in this video with this tutorial. Um, I just make a bunch of scours thumbnails for myself. I like changing every single video. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to teach you guys how to make uh, somewhat of something like this to make it look pretty nice. So the programs you need are Photoshop and Cinema 4D. So, um... I'm just going to go and open up my Cinema 4D. Alright, once it opened up, you're going to uh, put a Lightroom inside. I use Lightroom V3 by Mondays, uh, and I use CMR, or version 1.0. So you can get any uh, rig inside of here. There's a lot of free rigs out there. Uh, there's a lot of free Lightrooms out there. So go and find your Lightroom and your CMR. Uh, I use CMR, but you can use any other rig. It doesn't make uh, a difference. Just CMR is a lot better, but you have to pay for it. Um, so what you're going to do first is uh, obviously put your skin inside, so I'm going to put my skin inside. Um, let's just go into here, uh, pictures, and uh, let's go put my skin inside. So uh, I don't really like the eyes on this uh, thing. You can disable them. Um, you can disable eyes in every single uh, rig, so you just have to find it. So there we go. So there's my skin, first of all. And so what we're going to start off by doing is uh, posing the person. So uh, you're just going to... Um, uh, just like put out the arm like something like this because uh, the text is going to be right here any text that you want to put and your player is going to be looking that way and yet yeah, you don't want this arm to be in the way so you can move it on the side like this and then just uh, bend it like this and then what I like to do is turn it on the side uh, just like that um, so the feet um, we're just going to make it go like here just try to make it look a bit normal then we're going to turn it like that way and then this foot we're going to make it go in the back like this and then uh, forward and then we'll turn it the other way to make a little uh, illusion like that and what I like doing is I like turning the body all the way to the right and I like turning the top of the body all the way to the left so it kind of like gives a cool aspect on the body so that's what I like doing um, just a little tip by myself there um, and so this arm is going to hold your sword or snowballs or whatever you want to hold here so you're going to put this arm out like this and you want to uh, you know bend it a tiny bit to give it a little effect there and so we're going to bend that like that and our head looks not that good so we're just going to put it like that and maybe like bend it or something like that uh there we go so now that you've got like uh your positioning a bit so now we're going to go into MoGraph, mo text and we're going to put uh whatever text you want and put survival games anything right now i'm going to do a sky wars so we're going to write sky wars and uh, it's going to appear uh just like this and if you want it to get uh it's centered and stuff you're going to put a line and you're going to put middle here uh and then you're going to uh pretty much like find your font really like try to find a good font so uh once you uh pretty much like found your font i'm just going to be uh looking through all my fonts and uh, the font that I use here, I'll give you guys the name. So if you want to use this, you can find it yourself. So I have a lot of fonts. Uh, what I like doing is uh, I like going on thefans.com and I just try to look for fonts. I download them and install them and then I'll make a, uh, a thumbnail with them. So there are a lot of fonts out there. So um, you can download a lot because I have a huge font file here. Not really because I got a new computer. But uh, all right. So what we're going to do now is uh, click this tool right here to make the text a bit smaller. Uh, just like this and then you're going to make it go up and like this in front of your person we're gonna make it a bit uh, smaller there we go so what I like doing is uh, putting a bit of depth on it so it's like seven or six I like putting a one to it not 217 uh, one to it so the text becomes a bit fatter that's just my preference so now what we're gonna do now is to give it a little effect so we're gonna go into caps and put it on fillet cap fillet cap and we're gonna put steps 15 uh, and we're going to go into fill a type and we're going to write engraved. You can either do engraved or uh, two steps. I mean, one step, I think. It is. Yeah, one step or engraved. I like doing engraved. Um, that's just personal preference, like I said. So now what we're going to do is click the bend up here and we're going to move it down to our text. And we're going to put uh, the bends to 90 right down here. And we're going to click fit to uh, parents here. And so now, right when you uh, click your text now uh, and your bends, you're going to see a little orange thing here, which you can move the text around and give it like a bend or something like that. So what we're going to do is just try to bend it, try to make it look decently nice. So I guess that looks pretty nice. So now you're going to click the mo text and then you can click the uh, uh, rotates tool like this and then just try to position it uh, into your uh, character here so um, I'm gonna make it go like this uh, just like that uh, we're gonna turn it a bit more uh, boop like 
that. Uh, this arm is kind of in the way, guys. So what we're going to do now is move it like that. Um, what else are we going to do? We're gonna, probably going to make the text a bit smaller because it's a bit big. Um, there we go. And then uh, rotate it more like that. And then uh, we're going to move it like that. There we go. And so it has a decent positioning now. We're just going to make it go a bit on the top more. Uh, just like that. So that looks uh, pretty nice, guys. So the text is over there, and uh, then you've got your arms and stuff. So what we're going to do now is uh, add a sword inside. So uh, there's a lot of swords that exist out there, uh, but I like using um, uh, one that I actually just recently got, actually. So I'm going to go into graphics, swords, and items and stuff. It's called 64 Sword Pack, something like that. I just found it on a YouTube video out there. If you want to get more swords, you can just search up on YouTube, like, free uh, rigs, swords, and, like, stuff like that. Because I have a lot of, like, fishing rod rig, katana rig, like, ninja packs. So you can get a lot of uh, rigs and packs out there. Um, so you can just search it up on YouTube, and you'll get uh, quite a lot, a large selection of stuff. So I'm just going to drag that in, and uh, it may not respond for a bit because um, Cinema 40 has to load the stuff. And, uh, yeah, so... Once it's loaded in, you're going to uh, click uh, the item that you want, and it's going to be loaded inside. So as you guys can see, I've got this uh, little sword like this. Well, it's kind of big, so we're going to make it smaller with this tool again. And uh, once you pretty much got the right size, then you're going to try to fit it into his hands, or her hand, or whatever, your Minecraft character's hands. So we're just going to put it like that, and then uh, make it a bit higher, and then we're going to... Um, rotate it and this is all like um i can't teach you guys how to put a sword inside of your hand you're just gonna have to find it out yourself um there's no like way of doing it you just have to put your uh, sword in their hands so uh we're just gonna rotate this some more uh that way uh there we go this looks pretty good and then yeah, uh, we're going to actually, since the camera's going to be right here, to make the most use of the sword, we're going to turn it uh, like that way, that way, and then like something like that so the camera can see the sword. Uh, there we go. Uh, that looks pretty good. And we're going to make it like straight. There we go. Um, so that looks uh, pretty good, the positioning. Uh, let's just turn it a bit like that. There we go. And so now we're just going to like uh, put it, pretty much put it inside the hand here. And there we go. <laughs> there we go, guys. So now it looks uh, pretty good. So now your person is like this. So what I like to do is click the camera tool and then click the rotate tool. And you can move your camera like this. So I like moving it sideways uh, a bit like that. And then you click the little thing on the side. And boom, guys. So you've got... um. A character like this and now you have two options you can either put colors in the text or put like a minecraft block uh, for the sake of this I'm gonna show you guys both so what you guys can do here is make it like uh, red and stuff um, like red black and just put different colors so first of all I'm gonna start with the minecraft blocks so uh, you can download some packs and then get some blocks and so what I'm gonna do is use some dark oak plants so you can put it on top of your render uh, just like this under text. Oopsies, I put it on my person. <laughs> it could be problematic. All right, so now I'll just put it on our text. If I can put it on my text. All right, so now I put it on my text, guys. And so as, as you can see, uh, it looks like that. If you don't want it like that, you don't want a Minecraft block, well, you can just take it out uh, by going over here and clicking the word on the text and deleting it. So uh, I'm going to put color on this for the sake of just putting color. So now you're going to click this tool right here. Uh, click that, and what that will do is separate each letter um, just like this. You can click the plus tool, and there we go. So now what you're going to do is just put random uh, colors on all of these things uh, for it to look uh, good so now it's just this is the fun part just put random stuff and at the end it'll look good you just, you just need to put a random guys you don't want any patterns also just look uh, weird so I think that's all good and then like I said you have to put two colors so what you want to do now is since you have two colors on every single letter you're gonna click the second letter and you're gonna write C1 and uh, boom as you guys can see it'll put two colors on the side what I like doing, guys, is uh, just running C1, uh, just like that, and I click Control A and then Control C, and so now you click every single second color, and you click Control V, uh, Control uh, 
V, which just means paste, and Control C, which means copy. So you can do that for all the letters. And there we go, guys. You've got your uh, pretty nice text. But all right, so already have the flipped camera. You're gonna try to find a good pose. So what I like doing is uh, just like getting a good little glimpse at it from like maybe underneath, from like the top, from the side. So what I'm gonna do here is just place the camera just like that. And just zoom it out a bit and zoom it back in just like that so that looks pretty cool just like that so now you're going to go into the render settings and then uh go into the save tab and you want to check alpha channel and i uh, just copy these settings here and then check save and then uh save it somewhere so i'm just going to save this into uh thumbnail cinema 4d renders good look render i i know these names are kind of weird but let's save this for 12 just like this and now you're just going to click the render tool and now you just have to wait for it to render on my computer it takes about 30 seconds uh it depends for every single computer so i'll cut back when it's ready and uh, there you go guys it actually took one minute uh, i'm not sure why but yeah you got a full hd render here so now let's just go into uh where i rendered it and so thumbnail cinema 4d uh, all of this stuff, jazz, blah, blah. So uh, let's just open up this file. And as you guys can see, it looks very, very clean, full HD render. So that looks pretty cool. So now you're going to go into Photoshop and open a new document, 1280 by 720. And then uh, you're going to go uh, get yourselves a, a background here. So I go into graphics, screenshots, and I just have a lot of packs and stuff. So uh, I use uh, these backgrounds for a lot of my thumbnails. So I'm going to put this background inside. And then you're going to click Shift on your keyboard to make it bigger. Uh, and you cannot like move it any other way so I'll just keep the proportions so there we go and then you're gonna click this button click place and so what I like doing for the background is going into filter blur and then a motion blur and you can do like a high motion blur uh, very light motion blur but I like doing around uh, 50 to 75 so for the sake of this I'm gonna boot it like 61 there you go so that's very really nice like that and um now you're just going to go in and drag your render inside. So let's just go into a thumbnail, some of 4D, blah, 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 all this stuff. So now you're going to place your render inside and click shift, like I said, and then uh, like try to like get a good positioning on it. So uh, now you can just click place and uh, let's just get this in the center. And then oopsies, a vest just popping up like that. All right. Uh, now you're just going to put it in the center and try to make it there we go so that looks pretty nice like that what we're gonna do now is go into filter and click liquify and uh, what this does is you can just move the letters around to try to make it look funny or cool or something like that so I just like messing around a bit with it don't uh, like overdo it because they don't just uh, uh, like someone would definitely see it and it'll just look really like weird honestly like if you put like a letter um, too liquefied it just looks honestly weird like <laughs> yeah so you don't want to overdo it uh, I'm just doing a bit of it's not too much uh, boom there we go and there we go so as you can see you're gonna see a difference boom there we go and so what I like doing is uh, going into blending options and I have a lot of styles saved so sometimes I use this style or sometimes I use this style most of the times I use this style so the settings of this is uh, all these settings here for the inner shadow all these settings here for the inner glow and all these settings here for the uh, gradient out overlay there we go so now you got that you click ok and so what you have to do now is click duplicate layer and now you're going to go into filter filter gallery and uh, I like putting glowing edges so what you're going to go into here is click um you're going to go into styles and then click glowing edges and then copy these settings right here uh, five eight six and then click ok and then your thing will look weird and you can turn your opacity uh, very low on my skin I like keeping it at five or uh, seven and between five and seven so for the sake of this I'm gonna put it at six there we go and now what you're gonna do is duplicate the layer which doesn't have the um, glowing edges and then put that uh, behind your normal layer uh, all the way on the bottom and then go into blur uh, motion blur again use the same one as your background and as you can see I create a little blur so you can either put uh, move it a bit to the right like that or move it behind you uh, just like that so it looks like you're moving I'm gonna put it about behind myself and as you guys can see it creates like a little effects like this and so that looks pretty cool in my opinion so now guys the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is very very important I, I I'm the one who found this guys uh, I didn't look at any tutorial for this so I, I think it's personally I found this but uh, I think a lot of other people found this but I found this first so you're gonna go into this little circle here and you're gonna click color lookup and what this does is that it loads through 3D um, 
L-U-T, I'm not sure what those are, but uh, they use these in movies and stuff, they're like color corrections, but there's some already with Photoshop, so you can try to look at them, and look at this guys, it gives a nice, good effects, uh, some will be overdose, some will want not be good, some will just look weird, so what you're going to do is try to find a good one for your style, um, I'm just going to be looking through all of them, uh, I'm trying to find like a dark one and a light one, so we're just going to uh, scroll through all of them, uh, moonlight, alright, these look kind of dark for this kind of a thumbnail, uh, maybe soft warming, oh, this looks kind of nice, so that looks nice, now we're going to uh, maybe add a, another one here, some more color look up, and try to put like a darker color, like a horror blue, and what I like doing now is turning the opacity very, very low on that, uh, maybe like to 32%, so uh, that's how it looked before, and then with it, it, it looks kind of like a little glow like that, and uh, if the background looks kind of weird, then you can click the background and then add another color look up and try to find like something like warmer, I mean like something like this, and just try to make it look better on the background parts, so like that, that looks really cool, uh, and um, yeah, so now you've got uh, this little thing like that. It is almost done. And the other things that you can do is go into here and click color balance. And then just try to find something. Uh, I don't really use this a lot. I used to use this a lot. But I don't really use it a lot. A lot of other people use it. But if you don't want to, it's completely fine. Uh, like, I don't know. You can just put a little effect. That's how it looked before and after. So you can make it look decent. But I don't want, I don't want to use that. And, um... Yeah, the other thing is you can just mess around with all these things like channel mixer, photo filter, black and white, color balance, hue, saturation, stuff like that. Uh, color mixer is not the best uh, because it's just like, it's kind of like weird to be honest. But uh, I've made some thumbnails with this. But what I like using too is photo filter. And what this does is that it adds some tiny effects on it. So like you can do a like cooling filter if you think your thumbnail is like a bit too dark. And let's move uh, color filter 82 here. And uh, boom, as you guys can see, it just made it a bit like smoother and stuff. That's how it looked before. And that's how it looked like cooled. Uh, but yeah, you can just mess around with all those effects. I'm just going to keep it uh, just like this. And uh, yeah, guys, you're pretty much done your Skyward's thumbnail. Um, I can just click save as and then we're gonna pull uh, into uh, desktop uh, thumbnails uh, sky wars and a new and then we're gonna name this eight and then you're gonna click a uh, control alt s and then go into save this as a png and then save this as eight and uh, boom guys you've pretty much finished your uh another skywars thumbnail another day another skywars thumbnails and yeah guys it's pretty simple to make a skywars thumbnail that's why i make a lot of them and uh yeah it's pretty original to change your skywars thumbnail every single video but uh, yeah that's exactly what we made on uh, this thumbnail in this video but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh don't forget to leave a like if i helped you in any way let's go for 35 likes and thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you guys later peace out